Here's a short Catholic doctrine taken from the book of Catechism for Filipino Catholics. Christ, our truth. He said, If you live according to my teaching, you are truly my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. John chapter 8 verses 31 to 32 This is the Christ we proclaim. While we admonish all men and teach them in the full measure of wisdom, hoping to make every man complete in Christ. Colossians chapter 1 verse 28 Christian faith is centered on Jesus Christ, who is himself the way, the truth, and the life. John chapter 14 verse 6 as the truth, Christ is the real light which gives light to every man coming into the world. John chapter 1 verse 9 He reveals the Father and sends the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth, who guides us to all truth. Through Christ, we become consecrated in truth. Walk in the path of truth. Act in truth. Share in the work of truth. And worship in spirit and truth. Catholic doctrine expresses the truth that Christ our Lord brings us. This truth does not resolve all the problems and riddles of our daily lives. It does not take the place of our planning what we should do or sharing our experiences with others and learning from them. But as Christians who are open to Christ's truth in faith, we have a direction and a basic insight into life. We are better able to work out our own personal response to the basic human questions. Who am I? Why am I here? How am I to relate to others? Christ's truth gives its person the strength to measure up to his supreme destiny. There is a real challenge today for the Catholic Filipino. From all sides, questions are being asked about the Catholic faith that up to fairly recently was accepted by most Filipinos. Why do you worship the Blessed Virgin Mary? Catholics are asked, why do you collect statues, statues of Santo Nino? Why confess to a priest? Is Jesus really divine? Why interfere in politics and take part in demonstrations and strike in business affairs? The need to understand the practice of the Catholic faith then has become suddenly urgent. In the first letter of Peter, we are admonished should anyone ask you the reason for this hope of yours be ever ready to reply but speak gently and respectfully no longer is it enough for a catholic to say i don't know why but that's just the way we do it here moreover Knowing why we Catholics practice our Catholic faith in this way obviously does not come from memorizing prepared formulas. Rather, it means growing and maturing in our personal faith in Christ our Lord within His body, the Catholic community. The truth that Christ brings us is both 
a gift of God, and a task. A gift, Christ's truth is both life-giving and liberating. If the Son frees you, you will really be free. John chapter 8 verse 36 At the same time, it is an ongoing task of number one, discerning the truth, and number two, professing it with courage. Moreover, we have to gradually learn to distinguish the spirit of truth from the spirit of deception. The natural man does not accept what is taught by the Spirit of God. The spiritual man, on the other hand, can appraise everything. Once recognized, we must profess the truth in love and grow to the full maturity of Christ, the head. Catholic doctrine brings us the truth of Christ. It is this truth which grounds our moral behavior and our prayer or worship. First, regarding morality, we know we are committed to the truth when we keep God's commandments. His commandment is this. We are to believe in the, say, the name of His Son, Jesus Christ, and are to love one another as He commanded us. Faith that does nothing in practice is thoroughly lifeless. Second, as Catholics, we must worship in spirit and truth. True worship is offered only through Christ, for no one has ever seen God. It is God, the only Son, ever at the Father's side, who has revealed Him. For the Filipino Catholic, therefore, to believe in Christ means acting, feeling, hoping, trusting, loving, praying, all supported and inspired by the one basic conviction. God is one. One also is the mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all or more simply Jesus is Lord and no one can say Jesus is Lord except in the Holy Spirit faith in Christ then is essentially Trinitarian Thus, PCP2 concludes, We must return to Christ, center our life of discipleship wholly in Him, become a community after the image of the Divine Trinity itself, that we may become truly His disciple. May God bless you 